Bring it down. So today, Sierra Battery is, we're in the middle of Rolling Thunder. We're working with Second CB to create and refine expeditious trail operations in support of a HIMARS battery in an EABO environment. So HIMARS are gonna have a great role in the future of the EABO environment. We work in high rains, which is a high Mars rapid infiltration. You load the launcher onto an aircraft of some sort, drop it potentially on an island. That launcher acts kind of alone and unafraid. They prosecute targets, they'll load back up onto that aircraft and return back. So that allows us to range targets in a deeper battle space. The overall objective of today's training is to better allow for survivability of high Mars in an environment where there's better targeting, UAS, things that make it more difficult for HIMARS to hide. The engineers are greatly increasing the survivability of the HIMARS 
allowing us to create a trail system within the trees gives us a better ability to do reloads in the woods. Typically they're done out in the open, which makes it harder for us to hide. It allows us to create our own hide points that are gonna better allow us to prosecute targets. Um, typically we just pull into a GP and, or any sort of area and we have to use kind of what's given to us. Sometimes there isn't even hide points. We kind of just gotta pull up along tree line and utilize cami netting. So these engineers being out here with us allow us to shape our defensive posture better. So, so far in this location, the engineers have given us an ammo hiding area. They've given us um, launcher hide points and they've given our fire direction center along with our platoon operations center um, better hiding spots in the tree line. So in a future battle space, it's not just HIMARS that are gonna have to hide. Uh, cannons will also need to be hiding. They could, the engineers could potentially take away some immediate crests that could take away some potential targets that cannons could execute. The integration of engineers into a HIMARS or cannon platoon is greatly gonna increase their survivability overall. Right now in Rolling Thunder for Sierra Battery and 2nd CEB, it is a critical time period. It is allowing us to create and establish these TTPs and SOPs that are going to be critical in an expeditionary advanced base operations environment with the environment that we have around us, the vegetation is gonna cause a large friction point for HIMARS and artillery. So this is gonna better allow us to operate in those environment, in that environment and execute uh, targets deeper in the battle space.